All right, so uh, today I wanted to take a moment to sort of break the fourth wall with y'all and um, talk about this new release that I have coming up called Heart on Fire. You'll notice that it's a little more aggressive than you might be used to hearing or seeing from me. Um, and that is for a reason. And the reason being um, abuse. <laughs> and and telling my story um, not specifics that's not something I'm interested in doing um, but just the feelings of it and being in a space of being the survivor for lack of a better word I don't know but I am not used to being like this and I'm not this is the type of vulnerability that I'm not used to this is just me expressing my feelings and expressing my emotions about the situation which was uh, extremely difficult to get over and extremely difficult to um, to heal from and so my hope with this song and my hope with anybody who's watching this and maybe you know might be connecting with this in some way is that you know you look at this and you look at the afterwards you know I am for the better part of myself healed I am for the most part whole again and it sometimes takes a really long time so I hope that you look at me and you say if you are in this space be it a man or a woman to look at where I'm at and to say okay there is another side you know there is another way and another place other than where you're at now to my man out there I want to speak directly to you for a second just because you are able to overpower somebody physically doesn't mean that they're not capable of inflicting emotional harm or abuse to you and to my fellas out there please like the pride that you have don't hold it in too high of a regard to be able to ask for help um, and to be firm in that like you know what you don't like and you know what's not cool um, you know unfortunately for me some of my circle was not was not perceptive and didn't love me the way that they that I felt like I needed because when I was asking for help and I was calling for help I was getting laughed at and ridiculed and demasculated for even the hint of for even suggesting that there was a hint of something abusive going on in my relationship. And that screwed with me for a long time. You know what is okay in your life and you know what's not. Some disputes, most disputes are conversations that can be had, but there are times where that line is crossed that you cannot allow to happen. And so, um, it took me almost a year after the relationship to even admit that I was in an abusive relationship. It took me almost a year to even call my partner an abuser. And that's not to say that, you know, I was some angel, pardon the pun, in this relationship and she was some demon devil. In toxic relationships, it tends to be both parties hurting one another but there's lines that some people won't cross that I won't cross that maybe or that you won't cross that maybe your partner will and you have to be careful with those types of people they can ruin your perception of trust they can ruin your perception of intimacy and they can ruin your perception of love and that's something we need to hold sacred and, and even within this healing that I've had, it is still difficult for me to include all of those three in my holistic practices, to fully trust, to fully be intimate, and to fully love anybody. So it takes a long time afterwards to undo what was done. So with Heart on Fire, um, I am hoping that someone watches it and doesn't take the aggression as like, you know, 
oh, I just got to be domineering. I got to be this. I hope you listen to the song and get the strength to move on and get the strength to get help, um, to get the strength to ask for help. I'll leave you with that. I don't want to overstay my welcome and I don't feel comfortable talking about this all the way. So, I love you. Be safe. Thank you for listening.